You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Hello everybody, Joey the Truth Wagner with you on this very late Sunday night after a very entertaining, wild, overtime-ish, but exhausting Sunday of football. Welcome into the Truth Serum. Before I get started, tonight's episode is being brought to you by SeatGeek. Friends, if you love sports like I do and you love going to the games like I do sometimes, then SeatGeek is the perfect place for you to get tickets. Use the code Joey Wagner, J-O-E-Y-W-A-G-N-E-R. You'll get 20 bucks off your first order, so go on SeatGeek, go get your tickets, go have a good time, and save some money in the process. Now time for the Truth Serum. Well, everybody, I did not make the video until now because of the football games that I was broadcasting this afternoon. But I specifically wanted to talk about one call. About one huge call that was missed and changed the outcome of a playoff game that determines whether a team goes to the Super Bowl or goes to their couch. And the game that I am talking about is this afternoon's NFC Championship game that was played between the Los Angeles Rams and the New Orleans Saints at the Superdome. There was one call that was absolutely egregious by the officials. It wasn't pretty. It was blatantly obvious that it was missed. And it changed the outcome of the game. You can see the picture behind me on the screen is the play. It was with about a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. The Saints were in field goal range. They were driving for the go-ahead points. They had a third down play. They tried a pass play, a wheel route to the running back. You can see it here. You can see it right here. Tommy Lee Lewis was the intended target, but the cornerback for one, did not have his eyes on the football. He was, wasn't was even looking. He didn't even know that the ball was coming that way. Number two, hit Tommy Lee Lewis before the pass was even there, completely negating any chance he had to make a play on the football and try to make the catch. And number three, it was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit. And as you can see from this image, the still image, right there, the official is right there looking at exactly what's going on. And it was out and out missed. That is horrific. That is a nightmare both on and off the field. I understand that officials make mistakes, and I understand that, some that sometimes calls are missed. But that crosses the line. That's ridiculous. That's the kind of call where I'd say it would be beneficial if there was replay, and if we could use replay to to correct obvious blatant the whole stadium everyone in the country knows calls like that one in special scenarios friends if a call was that blatantly missed where it's that obvious i'm in favor of using replay to correct it our job and the official's job is to get it right. They didn't do it here, and it cost the Saints an opportunity at the Super Bowl. This play here, if it was enforced like it was supposed to, it would have given the Saints a first down. They would have had a, a first and 10 down inside the 10-yard line of the Rams. They would have either scored a touchdown or ran a lot more clock off 
which would have probably prevented Jared Goff and the Rams of going down the field to tie. This call cost the Saints a chance at the Super Bowl. And that's gross. What it is is gross. And what it is, friends, is the biggest nightmare that could have happened for the National Football League. The last thing they would want is for the officials to determine the winner of a football game. And not just a football game, but a football game that sent the winner to the Super Bowl. Over the last two years, the officiating has not been good. From the Jesse James play to a bunch of other plays, I've been watching football for almost 15 years. And I don't know what the rules are anymore with the officiating. I don't know what the rules are. I'm confused on a catch. I don't even know anymore. And that's not good for the league. As their biggest possible, biggest possible nightmare reared its head today. And because of it, the Rams are going to the Super Bowl and not the Saints. And I'm in favor of replay to fix errors like these. Well, friends, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comments section below the video. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. And 14 days from now, it's Super Bowl 53. Jared Goff, Todd Gurley, Boy Genius, Sean McVay and the LA Rams take on the GOATs. Bill and Tom, Tom and Bill, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick looking for their sixth Super Bowl championship. For the rest of the great crew, Joey the Truth Wagner signing off from the Truth Serum. Have a great night.